Hello! I'm here for my execution! Hey, kid. Oh! Hi! Yeah. Nothing else to say? About me wearing a hat? This isn't the Pokemon gym anymore, kid. It got foreclosed. There's nothing wrong with wearing a hat in here anymore. Oh. Well, alright then. I'm just here to see the place off. You go do whatever you have to. Too slow! Uh, and I was too. I was too slow. Alright, kid, carry on. Pokemon Black Boy Uh, are you following me? Sorry, do you mind? I just, I had fun last time. I thought maybe I could come watch again. Watch what? Watch the fight. Is that okay? Uh, yeah, you can come along. But I don't think it'll be much of a fight. Whoa, Clay's been busy. Did they dig all this stuff out today? Oh, were we not talking? You don't want to talk? Just want to watch? My bad, dude. I won't try it again. I'm just upset, kid. I love Pokemon gyms. But nobody shows them the respect they deserve. There's nothing less respectful than taking over a Pokemon gym and turning it into an emerald mine. If there's one thing worse than wearing a hat indoors, it's wearing a hard hat. For God's sake, take off your hard hats! No, Keep them on! Keep on your hard hats! For safety! To protect what, kid? Their heads. You mean their skulls? Yeah. The skull is for protecting the brain. Now people are wearing hard hats to protect the skulls. Soon it'll be crash helmets to protect the hard hats. It's ridiculous. Skulls were made to be broken. Okay, so I was wrong about you not wanting to talk. I get that. Ah, uh, Haven Chad. Whoa, that is a huge emerald. Hmm? What do you mean? Whoa, good eye, Aiden. You're gonna fit right in at my emerald mines. What? Oh yeah, uh, take a look around. This is where you're gonna be working off your debt. Uh, uh, 23 years. But then you'll also owe me for 23 years of room and board, so 27 years. But then that's four more years of room and board you have to pay off. Call it an even 40. Round up to 40. Lucky for you, the room and board is dirt cheap to pay for. You'll basically be sleeping on the floor of my emerald mine. Actually, that's, that's just what you'll be doing. But only when you collapse from exhaustion, and only for three hours at a time, like the rest of the people here. How do you feel about hard hats? He hates them. Oh, I see you brought... A guy? Yeah, hi. I just came to watch the battle. No battle. We're doing business. Small battle? I don't think so. Aiden, are we gonna do a small battle? Depends. If you're offering to kill me, I'll take you up on that. No, just 40 years of indentured servitude. I know. Consider my offer. Excuse me for asking, but... What exactly do you plan to do with the gym upstairs? And is it respectful? Oh, you guys talking to me now. I thought he just came to watch. Be careful, he can start. I haven't decided what I'm doing with the upstairs yet. But Gym Badge Production makes for great money launder- Uh, money normaling. Gym Badge Production makes for great money normaling, so I'll probably want to keep that up, I guess. And the last gym leader left all of his Pokemon laying around. Listen, Clay, I know I'm late to get you your money, but- But I... the Emerald Mines, I know, we're square. No, look, just- I promise you, I can get you all the money you need, and it'll take me way less than 40 years. Yeah, you think so? I know it. And, and actually, I'm willing to make a bet. Of course you are. I'm listening. It sounds like you're, uh, cool and powerful enough that you're probably gonna become the new gym leader here, personally. Assuming you're brave enough, anyway, and you have all the Pokemon for it. I say if I can beat you in a Pokemon battle, that proves I'm good enough to get big money as a trainer once I get all the badges. Oh, here we go, this is gonna be sweet. You're challenging me to a Pokemon battle. I am, and if I win, I want more time to get you your money. 
How much time? Six months. Two months. Okay. And if you win, then I'll work in your emerald mines for two extra months. For a total of 40 years and two months. That is a horrendous deal for me. That is not a fair trade at all. Look, either you get your money in two months, or you get it in 40 years if I can't do it. This is a great deal for you. Hmm. Fine. But only because we're both gambling addicts. The fight starts with Von Scott from my end, who comes out strong with a hefty one-shot kill. The next Pokemon up is a water type, and I gotta hand this one over to my boy, the Sludge. Hopefully his grass type will help out against the water type. He sets up a leech seed and then just starts ramming his head into the gym leader's Pokemon over and over again, doing damage to himself. He doesn't even care. He's the Sludge. This fight is over. You lose the Sludge win. The next Pokemon up is something named Excadrill, which I don't recognize, but maybe it's like a rock type, so Von Scott tags back in. Nicely done, kid. Giving up's the easy way out. If I wanted, I could have given up any old time. Yeah, right, dude. I mean it. Yeah? Then prove it. What do you mean? Give up! No. Why not? I just don't want to. I think you were just bragging. No. I don't think you can give up. I can. I've done it before. I can. Then show me. You got me. Von Scott absolutely smacks this guy around, and Clay uses a Hyper Potion to try to recover it, but come on dude, this is over. Such power! And then we're done with the gym battle. What the hell, that was cake. I think the only Pokemon in my team who took damage was the Sludge, and most of it was from himself. <sighs> sorry. It's baby bad matchup. Uh, you're lucky I'm new to being a gym leader. Fine, you got two more stupid months. Here's your stupid gym badge. Oh man, thank you. You won't regret this. Yeah, yeah. Seriously, I'm gonna get big Pokemon trainer money soon. And I'm also working for Team Plasma now, so pretty soon I'll be Wait, absolutely rolling. you work for Team Plasma? Uh, yeah, I just started. Huh. I've been trying to get one of my guys in for ages, but ever since they tightened up their hiring requirements, they aren't letting anyone in anymore. How did you get in? Uh... I just kind of asked, by accident. Hmm. I'll tell you what, Hayden. If you can get me my extremely profitable business arrangement with Team Plasma back, I'll say thank you. Fine, you twisted my arm. If you can do that, I'll consider your debt settled. Oh. Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Two months. Either get me my money, or get me Getsis. Now get out of here. Yeah, gladly. Um, hey, actually, do you think I could get two more gym badges? Just as a show of goodwill? I don't have any goodwill towards you. Can you show me that by giving me two more gym badges out of hatred? I sure can, you little scrub. Yeah, take that, idiot. How's it feel, dumbass? I'm so proud of you, kid. You made this place into a Pokemon gym again. I guess. Assuming he keeps it up from here. Oh, I think he will. I can't thank you enough. Losing an entire Pokemon gym would just be unthinkable. <clears throat> this is a Pokemon gym again now. And you still have your hat on. You'll regret this, kid. Hey, Aiden! Oh, hey, Bianca. Hey Aiden, sorry it took so long to meet up with you. Driftvale is swarming with Team Plasma members right now. I've been trying to keep a low profile. Oh yeah, that makes sense. They told me they're pulling all the stuff out of the city, and it sounds like they used to be pretty set up here. Especially in the cold storage district. Oh, Intel! Aiden, that was your first bit of intelligence! Not in a mean way. I'm saying you're a good spy. Thank you. I've been spying on them too, and I'm pretty dang good at it. I even managed to disguise a camera as a rock and balance it on a Team Plasma member's head. But you're my ace, Aiden. Does balancing a camera disguised as a rock on their heads work? Ah, uh, too well. They stay balanced and never fall off, which means I haven't been able to recover any of them to get the footage. They're just on their heads. <laughs> Idiots. 
You'd have to be pretty clueless to not realize there was a rock balanced on your head. <laughs> but look, here's your Team Plasma uniform back. They finished stitching in the microphone. I'll be able to hear everything now. Oh, cool. Thanks. And here's this city's gym badge. I got a spare for you. Oh, thanks, Aiden. But I was gonna go get it myself. No, give this one a miss. You'll want to give this one a miss, Bianca. Well, okay. Give me a sec. I'll get changed. Hey, this thing fits pretty well. Good. Great. Oh, and hey, I wanted to ask. How are you feeling after we ran into your dad before? I know hey, you- Hey Aiden, I just got an idea, let's do a Pokemon battle! But I haven't healed from the gym battle yet. Oh, you know what? Never mind, I'm good, let's go. Something about Von Scott just makes people chug hyper potions, and it never matters. Bianca, your tumor! It's grown! I know! Isn't it great? Uh... Chopperfuck takes a few bites out of Bianca's tumor Pokemon, carves it down to size, makes a nice statue out of the remaining flesh. The next Pokemon to come out is Bianca's improved Tepig, which Eva hits with another classic one-shot. Last of all, String comes out to deal with her Pansage, just to really give a full showing of Team Win this fight, why not? And that's another one-shot. Bad day to be Bianca. Wow. Did it take you long to make that new body for Tepic? Because it's kind of a letdown. What? No, it's great. Look at how easily he can breathe now with the new snout and the upright lungs. I suppose, but he's not very good in a fight. Oh, yeah, no, if I wanted to modify Tepic just for combat, you would get stopped. But I'd rather just give him a better quality of life, you know? He's got so much comfort now. That makes sense. Oh, hey, that reminds me. Here's a big list of questions I want you to ask the people in Team Plasma. Oh man, that's a lot. I'm not gonna remember all of this. Hold on, let me just write some of these on the back of my hand. I'm only doing this because it's you, by the way. Team Plasma have been nothing but cool to me. I'm really sure they aren't doing anything wrong. Eva! 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 Oh, yeah, Bianca, Eva wanted to speak to you. Eva! Eva! I can't speak to Eva. No? I can speak to Eva, but I don't know what she says. How did you know? N told me. Translated for me. Ah, uh, right. Okay. He can speak to Pokemon, by the way. Yeah. Hey, has he ever told you a reason why? No. Ask him about that. I'd like to know what he'll say. Eva! 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 Neither of us... Neither of us can understand you. What, what did you want to talk to Bianca about? Did you forget Bianca couldn't understand you? Was that a yes or a no? That was an Eva. Could go either way. Ah, wait a sec, I know! Tell Tepig! Eva, Eva! 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 Darn. Okay, Aiden, next chance I get with some good sterile facilities, check in with me. I'll see if I can get Tepig a more advanced voice box. Oh, and maybe some even bigger gorilla arms! Would you like that, Tepig? Tepig. Say Tepig again if you'd like that. Tepig. Yeah! Hmm. Well, that was nice. I guess I should probably heal before going into Route 6 now. Uh... You know what? Uh, never mind. We ball. So, uh, back on our way onto the next city. Something I'm realizing is that I don't really have any good way of dealing with flying types yet. The only weakness they have that I know about is electric, and Team Wind doesn't have anything electric. I gotta get some more anti-air knowledge. Oh, how am I gonna get through this? Aiden Chance. Nice uniform. Clay! No take backsies. I'm not going to your emerald mine. Hey, come on. I'm not Clay the mob boss right now. I'm Clay the gym leader. And so far, I'm killing it. Killing it. Kill him. Clay, I thought it was clever. I just wanted to put the fear of clay into you and show you how much control I already have over my Pokemon now. Sit! Concussion. The command I said was concussion. Wasn't it sit? I'll take a hundred polka dollars off your debt if you acknowledge the truth that I said concussion. Four hundred. Okay. You said concussion. Agreed. I was just sitting in my new Pokemon gym that I own, thinking, and I realized Aiden Chance is an idiot. 
He's a gambling addict. How is he gonna get me my business back with Beam Plasma? So, anyway, I wanted to give you a big list of questions to ask any Team Plasma workers you run into, so I can figure out what they think of me and how to get myself back in with them. Ugh, great. Give me a sec. I'm not giving you a sec. You've only got two months. Make my money, or get me back my business. Bye. Stupid notes. Okay, so... Red is clay, blue is Bianca. Red clay, blue Bianca. Red clay, blue Bianca. Oh! Oh, hey! And I... Uh, oh, one second. Sorry about that. What's up, buddy? What was that? Team Plasma Ninjas, they're new. By the way, your uniform looks great. My... Oh, yeah, my uniform. <laughs> I almost forgot. Hey, N, there were actually some questions I wanted to ask you. Sure, go. Right, one second. Oh, you wrote them down. N no, I just... Wait, yeah, what's wrong with me writing questions down? I didn't need to hide it at all. I could've just used paper. Uh, okay, sorry, and we're gonna have to struggle through this. All right. W what do you... D it's something with a D. W what do you... D d d Let me see? No, I've got it. Let me see. Fine, but I'm gonna get it before you. Oh, what's Gitsis doing? Oh yeah, I wasn't getting yeah, that. Yeah, wasn't getting that. Not in a million years, no. Getsis is working on a big team plasma project. It's our job to do fundraisers so we can pay for it all. What's the project? I don't know. Something to do with helping Pokemon, probably. Hmm. Yes. Okay. Question two. Want me to take another look? Yeah, would you? Sure. Uh... What do I think of Clay? I think it says. Oh, was it in red? Yeah. I don't like him. Got it. There are a few of these, but I don't think I can read Do you them. like Clay? Uh, no. In fact, just being in the same city as him was killing me. <laughs> killing? Killing? Clay? That's clever. All me. Ah, by the way, about what I said earlier, you and I aren't actually going to be running fundraisers. Gitsis gave me the job of finding us some new large refrigeration spaces and negotiating a deal with the owners to store our stuff. He said I could pick any Team Plasma Grunt I wanted to assist me, so I chose you. Oh, cool. Ah, and before I forget, here. I know you're an aspiring Pokemon trainer and all, so with the ground-type gym being foreclosed and all, I just got you a spare gym badge and all. Oh, I didn't. I thought I was going to have to skip that one. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. That was... That, that was really thoughtful. That was really nice. Sound more surprised about me doing a nice thing. I think it'll encourage good behavior if you act like it's unusual for me and draw attention to I it. I really appreciate this, Aiden. I'm looking forward to working with you. I'll see you further ahead. I'm gonna go catch some Pokemon. Sure thing. Hey, stranger! Oh, Bianca! Stranger, I'm a stranger. Come on, Aiden, I don't want you to be seen talking to me while you're in uniform. There are Team Plasma Ninjas everywhere. My bad. And my bad about the questions, too. I guess they just kind of smudged under the glove. Did the microphone work? Could you hear us talking? Yeah, but it was not useful at all. And I didn't ask you to ask him about anyone named Clay. My bad three times. But I'm telling you, Bianca, N is cool. We aren't gonna uncover anything shady talking to him. Well... Bianca! Ah! We're strangers again, Aiden. Oh, Aiden, you've made a new friend. Professor Juniper, hi. Have you been getting my latest Pokemon data? Yes, thank you. And interesting uniform. Have either of you seen Bianca? I still haven't been able to find her to discuss the results she's been sending me in person. What does she look like? She's blonde, average height. Maybe a little short, around your height, actually. She wears big puffy hats, like, uh... Like yours? Does she have glasses and a mustache and a big nose? No. Okay, well, keep all that in mind too. H hey, and what do you think of her? Hmm? Do you, like, do you think she's cool? What, what do people say about her? Do they like her? I think most people back home like her. Yes! But she's nowhere to be found these last few days. Would you mind helping me look for her? Oh, shoot. 
uh, that's... no. I think no. Because I was planning on listening into some cave, listening to cave sounds by myself. You can do that walking. Come on, I could use a fresh pair of eyes. Have you spoken to Dr. Berg? He can hook you up. Hey, uh, Professor Juniper, I think I'm gonna head off, so I'll see you later. All right, Aiden. Give me a call if you see Bianca. Yep, and I'll see you later, too. Hmm? Why? I don't know you. Goodbye, Aiden. Okay, further into the cave we go. Oh, hey, Fred Clock has some lightning moves. That's actually perfect for Team Win. That's what I was just saying with uh, Anti Air. They're not particularly strong, but hopefully he'll get some better ones later. As always, I'm finding out some new information to fill out the board with as we go through this cave. Ah, well, maybe Bianca is this way. Do you think so? Well, I was thinking maybe I would check this way and you would check another way. No, I think we'll do better if we stick together. Let's all look around. Maybe we can see her. Okay, sure. Let's all stand here and look around together. Aiden, join in. Oh, whoa. Big meeting. Team Plasma meeting. What are you all doing in here? We're hiding. Somebody saw a blonde girl go into Driftvale City and we don't want to take any chances. The only method of escape that's worked on her so far is going into a cave, so we're hoping she can't go into caves, like a vampire, if a vampire couldn't go into caves. Right, right. Hey, do you mind if I ask a couple of questions? I'm trying to get used to being on the team, you know, as the new guy. Go for it, little buddy. We can do a battle in the meantime. Oh, I don't... Uh, okay. Naturally, the Team Plasma Grunts want to fight me, and since I'm kind of like a new Team Plasma Grunt, I, I, I kind of have to obey, so I, I, I fight him. We learn a couple more type matchups, but really it's pretty easy. Von Scott has been bulking up massively because you can't go two steps in this cave without running into a steel type for him to one shot. Which is why a lot of us sound sort of similar to each other. Alright, and what sort of fundraisers do you do? typically. Oh, all kinds. We used to just do traditional fundraisers, but lately we've basically been told to just get the money any way we can. Any way? Any way. Getsis needs a lot of money, so everything's on the table. Hey, can you guys excuse me for a second? Oh my god, Bianca, did you get that? I got it! I totally got that! Oh, now I'm suspicious. I'm actually suspicious now. No, you're alright. He's suspicious. Yeah, I'm suspicious of him. Oh, I thought you were saying, like, you're suspicious. No, he's suspicious. Wait, suspicious of you? Do you think he's onto you? No, I'm saying that he is suspicious. Which makes me suspicious. Of, you know, of him. Man, that word sucks. I'm just gonna keep looking into it. Hey, Anne, I remembered one of the questions I wanted to ask you. Sounds good. Hit me. How did you learn to speak to Pokemon in the first place? Ah, that's a good one. The trick is to name one of your Pokemon the dictionary. Why is that useful? I mean you name it the entire contents of the dictionary, not just those two words. Pokemon can only say their names, so that lets them speak English. Then you slowly name a series of Pokemon progressively less words until you just get it one day. That doesn't sound like it would work at all. Well, I mean, ask Eva. You know I can't do that. I do know. I do know you can't do that, but I can do it. So, those early Pokemon with like... I, I mean, that's gotta be at least a hundred thousand syllable long name, right? More. How do you call them when you want them to do something? I don't really remember. I was really young when I learned. My parents set up the whole thing, so I've only ever heard about it after the fact. Huh. Oh, by the way, I've got some new Pokemon I'd like to try out. You want to have a quick battle? Can I say no? Yeah. No. Oh, come on! Yeah, I mean, as I was saying about Von Scott, Von Scott just wipes Ends team very easily. There is nothing to talk about. Sorry for always taking out your Pokemon like that, man, but it's yours or mine. It's okay. I'll just take them to a Pokemon Center, fix them right up. Mm-hmm. And how's that gone for you so far? Great, what do you mean? Hey, stranger! Hi... Hello? Aiden, aren't you gonna say hello? But she was talking to the stranger- Oh, right. Hey, Bianca. Uh, hey, stranger. Nice mustache. I can't grow one. Obviously. What? Rude! My bad, that was rude! Sorry, I'm just nervous. <laughs> Big day. Good to meet you. 
<laughs> Aiden, you're really just leaving her hanging? Tell her it's good to meet her. But she's talking to you. She's looking right at you. Oh, is she? I can't really tell from this angle. Hello. Oh, fantastic. Hello, Aiden's new friends. What's your name? I'm N. Sorry, say again? N. That's your name? What's it short for? His name is N, like the letter. It isn't short for anything. Okay. Sorry to bother you, but have any of you seen a girl named Bianca? No. No? <gasps> nope, but Team Plasma have been warned to look out for a girl named Bianca. And Aiden, your Pokemon said it wanted to speak to a Bianca, right? So that's two Biancas. The one assaulting Team Plasma members and whoever Aiden's friend is. Oh, thank you! There were a couple of shaken up Team Plasma members earlier in this cave, so I'll look for her there. Wait, you think she's in this cave? Aiden, we've gotta go! Come on, girl, help me look for Bianca by the distressed Team Plasma grunts. Hey, so what's your deal with N anyway? I'll tell you about it later, Aiden. If you knew what I knew, it would be impossible for you to act normal around him. For now, just don't trust anyone while you're undercover. Not even you? Not even me. Okay, then I'll trust everyone, including you. Okay, so I won't trust anyone, even you. So now I'll trust everyone, including you. Alright, I'm just gonna step in here, break the cycle. Don't trust anyone, even me, starting two minutes from now, and not affecting anything you were told before two minutes from now, including this. That was way clearer, thank you. You know what? Just trust me. Yeah? Yeah, trust me and trust Sharon. You got that in just in time. Only like a minute and a half until I would've had to start mistrusting you. Yeah, that was a bad call. You can trust me. I'm gonna go back up the audio from the microphone I had stitched into your clothes. Okay, and that's that. Out of the cave, we arrive in Mistralton City, with a very convenient Pokemon Center just to our right. 